What words do you have for Harry Dunn's family today? Have a nice day. Have you compounded their grief by delaying justice for three years? Anne Sekoulas had just been on a video link in America watching a court in London sentence her for the killing of 19-year-old Harry Dunn. Why didn't you go to attend court in the UK? As the US spy got into the lift in Washington, D.C., there were no further answers. You are not getting in this elevator, OK? Go ahead. There was little sign of the remorse she'd expressed in court for the crash that she caused three years ago outside the American intelligence base at RAF Croton in Northamptonshire. The US government refused permission for Anne Sekoulas to travel to the Old Bailey for her sentencing like any other defendant. And the judge made it very clear that she could see no justifiable reason why Sekoulas wasn't here in person facing British justice. Please stand up, Mrs Sekoulas. The sentencing was on camera. You are disqualified from driving for 12 months for the offence of causing the death of Harry Dunn by your careless driving. The sentence is eight months imprisonment, suspended for 12 months. A statement was read out on behalf of Mrs Sekoulas. It said, My tragic mistake led to the loss of Harry, and I live with this regret every single day. There is not a day that goes by that Harry isn't on my mind, and I am deeply sorry for the pain that I have caused. As always, I remain willing to meet and apologise to Harry's family directly if that would support their healing. <laughs> Harry's family have had three years fighting for this moment after Sekoulas was allowed to leave the UK claiming diplomatic immunity. For me, the next best thing was to kiss that bruised lip of his and just let him know that I'll fight for justice. You know, that's the promise that I made to him, was that I promised I would get him justice. And that's what's kept me going. That's been my driver because I just couldn't get to him in time to tell him that I loved him. The prison sentence may be suspended, but Harry's family feel justice has been served. Harry, we done it. And we're good, we're good. <laughs> The woman who killed their son walks away three years later, but living with what happened for the rest of her life. Lisa Dowd, Sky News, The Old Bailey.